The common problem that skaters face is a damaged axle, and it needs to be re-threaded. The best tool for the job is a die, and inside this handle is the die itself, and this is a 5 16th of an inch die. And what you do is you stick it on, get it on there set, and then crank it with the handle. Now there is a skate tool, which is a Reflex brand utility tool, and it's about 20 bucks. They should have it at your local shop. It's the best tool you can buy, um, and it's got a die built into it. And if you have a little tiny Allen wrench, you can undo the pin right here, and you can also take out the die in here, stick it on, and re-thread it. What happened to this board is I took the nut off because the axle was damaged. It damaged the inside threads of this nut, so I'm going to have to stick on a new one. But before I can do that, I've got to re-thread the axle. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's take a close look at this axle nut. You can really see how the threads have been flattened and jagged. You can also see how chunky it got. The damage was caused by the threads on the axle as I unscrewed the nut to replace my wheel. Check out this new nut. You can really make out the deep grooves and sharp threads. Here is a close-up shot of the axle. Notice how the top looks like it's spilling over a couple threads. Well, in a way it has and filled in the groove so the threads from the nut can't go on. That's probably where the original nut got flattened out. The hardest part about re-threading is getting the die on. Make sure it goes on flat. You may need to give it some force to get it on. When you're putting the handle on the die, be sure not to knock the die off the axle. Notice the slot for the round die that I'm using? That's how it will turn inside the handle without having to re-tighten the pin. Be sure that when you start turning the tool that it's still straight and flat. What you don't want to have happen is when you start to turn that the die might start to get a little crooked on you and start re-threading in the wrong way. What you want to do is keep your hand sturdy and really force it and let your hand do the turning and getting it going straight into the right way that the threads are. Once you get it going down the right path, just keep turning it a little bit and you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom, you just need to turn it until it feels like you're getting some new threads there and then just start to back it out. And now I'm done. All I gotta do is just stick on a little washer, put my wheel back on, stick another little washer on, and start screwing on my nut by hand, and then take my tool and start tightening it. When you're tightening a nut, you don't want to tighten it all the way down to the bottom because you can crush the shield or seal into the bearing and you'll totally damage it. So just tighten it and check it along the way. You just want to give the wheel just a little bit of movement so it can spin, and that's all you gotta do. As you can see, re-threading a damaged axle was pretty easy. All I needed was a skate tool with a die or just one from a hardware store. Now, I can go skate.